Get ready to rock with the animals. We will explore the world of reptiles, including crocodiles, alligators, and all the other animals who share this planet. Did you know that shedding crocodile tears means to pretend to be sad about something you are really quite pleased about? Or did you know that alligators are the only reptiles who care for their young? Yes, you're going to discover lots of other fascinating facts about the reptiles and the amphibians who roam the earth today. They truly are the last of the living dinosaurs. Through the joy of rock and roll music and the spectacular image of nature's wildlife creatures, welcome to Crocodile Rock. East Africa, host to a vast variety of wildlife. A herd of elephants makes its way down towards the river. Elephants are the largest of land animals and are ferociously protective of their young. A baby elephant at birth weighs about 50 pounds and is protected by a wall formed by an adult elephant's legs. There is very little that young elephants have to fear, but the waterhole hides a potential danger that the baby elephant will soon learn about. The Nile crocodile is one of the largest living reptiles. They once grew to lengths of 26 feet. Nowadays, crocodiles measuring over 14 feet are quite rare. An adult crocodile eats an average of about 50 times a year storing 60% of its food as fat. An old crocodile can go over two years without eating. Even the birds, like the large marabou stork, must keep a watchful eye on the crocodile as it crawls out onto the bank. The lion, although considered the king of beasts, does not take any chances when it comes to crocodiles. They pick on a lizard much smaller. This monitor lizard has found itself in a very unpleasant situation. So playing dead is the best defense. The lion soon loses interest in the game of cat and mouse and will eventually walk away. The monitor can then sneak off when the coast is clear. The rule around the waterhole, no matter how big you are, is watch your step. Alligators are smaller than their cousins, the crocodiles, but they are no less a predator. Alligators and crocodiles are the giants of the reptile world the sole surviving descendants of the awesome archosaurs, which lived some 300 million years ago. Alligators love to lie in the sun, not because they want to get a suntan, but to help regulate their body heat. You see, the alligator is a cold-blooded animal. This means that they must heat up their body by lounging in the sun. When they get too hot, they just simply crawl back into the water to cool off. Alligators eat fish, turtles, birds, anything they can catch. The great blue heron inhabits the same waterways and bayous where the alligator hunts. As the heron watches cautiously, 
the alligator moves slowly through the water. The heron knows that if he doesn't want to get snatched, he'd better keep his distance and never take his eyes off the gator or the gator's teeth for that matter. Alligators are aquatic. That means they spend a great deal of time in the water. They are carnivorous, which means they like to eat meat. Crocodilians first appeared about 160 million years ago. Of the five major groups of living reptiles that live today, four can be found in North America. Wow, look at those teeth. Did you know that alligators go through two to three thousand teeth in a lifetime? Alligators don't chew their food. Instead, they swallow it whole. The teeth are used for holding on to the prey and ripping and tearing meat apart. Teeth fall out and then they are replaced by new teeth. Remarkably, an alligator could be 100 years old and still have brand new sharp teeth. The American alligator is the largest reptile in North America. Lizards come in a greater diversity of size, shape, color, and behavior than any other group of reptiles. Mates are courted and territories are defended by elaborate combinations of head bobbing, body push-ups, and open mouth displays that are unique to each species. Lizards deal with attacks from predators through a wide variety of techniques. The reason is, they can be attacked from almost anywhere, including from the sky by hungry lizard hunting birds. Wild turkeys can fly, but they spend most of their time on the ground hunting for food. They can look under logs and turn over sticks which often expose a hiding lizard. Some lizards have a unique solution to distract the predator so that they can escape. The lizard's tail will detach from its body and continue to wriggle on the ground, and a new tail grows back within a few weeks. If you thought a lizard's closest relative was the crocodile, you were mistaken. The lizard's closest relatives are their second cousin, the snake. The green anole can change in color from green to brown in a matter of seconds if it needs to camouflage itself. By extending the throat fan, which exposes a bright patch of color, the lizard communicates to other lizards that may be in the area. Secretive, mostly only out at night 
and voiceless, salamanders are not nearly as familiar as their cousins, the frogs and toads. There are about 350 salamander species in North and South America, Europe, Asia, and Africa. Most salamanders lay their eggs in water. They look very much like the eggs of frogs, which are commonly laid next to each other in the same pond. When the larvae hatch, they swim like little fish and even have external gills for breathing. These gills disappear as the larvae transforms into a salamander and crawls out onto land on four legs. Salamanders are often mistaken for lizards because they possess front and hind legs and long tails. However, salamanders lack the scaly skin, claws, and external ears, which are all characteristic of reptiles. Moisture is absolutely essential to the salamander. Some species are totally aquatic. Other species are terrestrial and live near water or moist, damp areas living underground. During the dry season, they remain unseen until rain falls. That's when they will crawl out to soak up the rain and go hunting. Salamanders eat meat. <laughs> Some, like these tiger salamanders, even hunt and eat mice. Sun gazers. These South African lizards get their name from the habit of basking in the sun with their noses pointed upwards to the sky. What are these guys doing? Maybe some aerobics to start their day, or a little lizard rap with the homeboys. <laughs> Lizards communicate in many strange and funny looking ways. Bobbing heads and stretching necks are a few of the ways lizards talk to each other. Attracting a mate might be the goal of these bearded dragon lizards from East Australia, and they put on quite a performance. Living without legs might be considered a disadvantage, but not to the snake. Snakes are superb climbers and will hunt high up in trees for birds and their nests. Birds often find that the safety of a well-designed birdhouse is still not enough to protect them from invasions of marauding snakes. The birds try to protect the nest and the eggs or live chicks inside. Their efforts are usually of no use, and the snake, finding eggs or newborn chicks inside, eat the entire contents before leaving. The parents of the chicks inside are basically defenseless when a snake decides to pay a visit.
scientists once thought that because snakes have legless bodies, they were burrowing animals. The reason why snakes are legless is still a mystery. The scales on the snake's body are hard and dry. They use these scales to grip the ground as they slide along. It is these same scales that make it possible for the snake to grip the bark of trees so that they can climb up a tree trunk, rarely falling. Who is the smartest lizard of all? The alligator is thought to be the smartest because he possesses the greatest and most complex brain of all reptiles. Baby alligators are superbly adapted to life in the water. With their eyes and nostrils placed on top of their heads, they can lie almost totally submerged underwater and still breathe and see. Alligators are carnivorous from the start. The babies will catch insects and tiny fish until they get bigger. The rule of the pool is, if the alligator is in, everybody is out. Some of the young will stay with their mother for up to three years. Herons like to hunt baby alligators. If mother is away, the baby alligators are at great risk of being eaten by these large birds of prey. When grown, alligators hunt large mammals and birds like geese and great blue herons. Alligators have special features that help them live in water. Flaps close their ears and nostrils when they dive. Another flap closes off the windpipe so they can eat their prey underwater without drowning. Snakes inject poison through fangs that are replaced every few months. Some expert snake people think that the snake may be able to adjust the amount of venom it uses to kill its prey. If the animal is large and strong, the snake pumps more venom. All snakes eat animals. There are no vegetarians among them. Along with the usual senses of hearing, touch, and sight, all snakes have a special extension of their taste and smell. Some snakes can even detect infrared radiation. This means that in total darkness, snakes can locate and catch live prey. Eyesight sensitivity varies greatly in snakes, but snakes that are active during the daytime have very acute eyesight.
This snake has detected a desert mouse by collecting molecules on its tongue and sensing its body heat. If it had to rely on its eyesight alone, it might not know the mouse is there if that mouse remained totally motionless. Mama Mouse isn't taking any chances and packs the kids up and gets out of town fast. Do snakes have ears? The answer is yes. But did you know that the snake's ears are located in the jaw of the snake? That's right. Could this be the reason why rattlesnakes can't hear their own rattle? Amazingly, they can only hear low-frequency sounds and not the higher tones of their own rattles. To warn enemies that it's about to strike, a rattlesnake shakes the rattles at the tip of its tail. This makes a very eerie buzzing sound. Snakes will usually only attack if provoked. They prefer to just slither off and hide. You've seen one frog, you've seen them all, right? Wrong. You may think it's a frog, but it could be a toad. What's the difference? Well, okay, let's see. Frogs are smooth-skinned, long-legged, and live in water. Toads, on the other hand, are ugly, fat-bodied, warty-skinned creatures living in dark, damp places. <laughs> well, maybe I'm being a little hard on the toad. Frogs and toads are, of course, amphibians, which means they spend part of their lives on land and part in the water. Amphibians try to avoid attack by hopping, running, or swimming away from an attacker. Some frogs have developed fantastic camouflage to avoid detection. But if all this fails, the amphibians have special poisonous producing glands in their skin. In most cases, the poison gives a nasty taste but is not deadly. Some species of frogs can jump 60 times the length of their own body. If kangaroos could perform this great a feat, they would be able to jump the length of a football field in a single jump. The desert, hot, dry, and one of the harshest environments on Earth. Not the kind of place you expect to see a wide range of wildlife, except for maybe some snakes, a scorpion, or maybe even a tarantula. Well, how about the toad? <laughs> yep, this is the Colorado desert toad. It thrives in desert habitat, arid grasslands, and woodlands. This is the largest native toad in the United States. Powerful jumping skills enable frogs and toads to travel at high speeds and surprise a predator with their abilities. Like many of its more exotic rainforest relatives, the desert toad uses a potent poison for the ultimate in protection. The warty lumps on its back are glands that are loaded with poison. Even its flesh is so poisonous that people who study this toad must wear rubber protective gloves just to pick them up. The 
The Gila Monster, also referred to as a beaded lizard because of the hard bead-like skin, is another desert dweller to be wary of. It's a pretty big lizard, though not big in crocodile terms. The Gila can reach two feet in length. It feeds on small animals and birds, which it kills with a poisonous bite. Gila's swallow their food whole. Why is the tail of the Gila monster so fat? To survive during times when food is scarce, like winter time, the Gila stores up fat in its tail and then lives off the fat for up to three months or more. If threatened, the Gila rears up and huffs and puffs. If this doesn't work, it can always bite you. Water is essential to life on Earth. It covers nearly three-fourths of the surface of our planet. Freshwater habitats are found across the world's land masses, in dry areas as well as wet ones. Water in the form of a pond or a lake, a stream, even a tiny puddle made from a recent and sudden rainfall can be a powerful attraction for wildlife. While all animals need water, not all animals have the same water needs. Watering holes are home for many bird species. Lions drink more often than leopards, who drink about every three days. Zebras need to drink at least once a day. Insects need a drink every once in a while. Get a load of this. This Hopi rattlesnake must really be hot. It is very rare to see a snake actually drinking water. I'm happy that we could bring you this unusual shot. And I hope you enjoyed all the wildlife footage on our program. On behalf of Crocodile Rock, we wish you happy adventures in the wild. So long for now. <laughs>